Good evening everyone, welcome back to the kitchen table. Um, I'm going to start off with the traditional beverage this evening. It is the Calligrapher, a very nice Shiraz from South Africa. Um, I'm very much enjoying this one, so um, I think we'll just put that down and say um, cheers. Mm. So tonight on the kitchen table, as you can see, uh, we're going to be looking at the um, Phantom Assistant. I'm going to be using the Phantom 2 um, tonight, but it, it equally applies if you've got a Vision Plus or a Vision. Uh, it's basically how to change from Phantom mode into NASA mode and having a look at what those options give you. So here I am, I'm plugged in, the P2 is hiding behind the back of the laptop, and we're plugged in. And this is your standard, out of the box, what you get, Phantom mode. So you'll see, you get your there are things about the um, switches and you get to mess around with the gains if you want to in advance you've got battery you've got stuff about the gimbal I've already shown you how I've put mine right down on the tilt gain um, your flight limits and the usual bits and pieces now NASA mode gives you access to some other options such as being able to set intelligent orient I'll start again, intelligent orientation control which is home lock and course lock uh, and I've done another video on what those are and how they work and if you'd like to watch that it's over here and then you can come back and we'll carry on. Um, the other thing you can do is set what your S1 switch does but let's look about how you do it first of all and then we'll talk about it. So the, it's easy, you go up to where it says phantom mode and if you hover over it, it says switch to NASA M mode. We we'll press that and it says, now look, you can do all this, that and the other. Are you sure? Now, one of the things I've always said is get your Phantom home, play with it for a couple of hours worth of flights, um, get used to the basics and keep it in close and then by all means switch and have a look at IOC. One of the things I really want people to do though is be able to control their aircraft at some distance without having to lean on home lock all the time because if you ever lose satellite lock uh, and I'm hearing reports for vision pluses where near satellite lock can be a little bit iffy at the moment um, then you know you're going to be in trouble if you've got no other skills of getting your aircraft back so assuming that you're happy with all that then we say yes are you sure <laughs> double check Okay, NASA mode is functioning, and the important thing to say that this is a, not a not a this is not a be all and end all. You can easily switch between the two, so don't worry about having a look at this and seeing what it's all about. So nothing's changed on this view. Let's have a look if there anything has changed. Well, no. In, a, in basic, we're all we're all quite happy, except if we go back here. As you can see down here, we've got the control mode switch. This is basically S1, so at the moment it's on GPS. Now it goes to ATI mode. I can now manually put it into attitude mode. And then you can choose the third position, what it wants to be. I've currently got it set to manual because I've been practicing manual flying, but you can now set it to automatically go into fail safe which means it will do the do a return to home. Instead of having to switch off the transmitter, you can flick it down to the third bottommost position on S1. Um, I'm keeping my manual, if you don't mind. So, the difference between GPS and ATI. Uh, ATI or attitude mode will do what it says, hold the aircraft's attitude, but it will not hold its position in relation to the ground in terms of uh, it's horizontal plane, so it will drift with the wind because the satellite won't correct for wind drift. Um, effectively, it's the same scenario as if you were flying indoors with no satellite link, but this time you can manually set it. Why would you want to do that? Two reasons. If you've got an original vision, you might want to set, set it to drift with the wind. It's a bit smoother for video because the vision doesn't really have a gimbal. It just has a sort of single axis stabilizer. The other reason why you might want to switch that over is because ATI mode gives you a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more tilt and therefore potentially a little bit more speed but you know the Phantom's not a not a racer so but anyway so that's that's a, the first change the other change if you go into advance is you now you've now got a few a little option here 
IOC intelligent aeration control and you can switch that on here by default I'm hitting the old S2 switch at the moment nothing is happening if I click that suddenly middle position is course lock bottom position is home lock so that's how you get intelligent orientation control um, other than that everything else you is pretty much the same um, so that's how you do it it's as simple as that uh, and it, as I said it's also not a finalized thing so you can always change it back again if you don't like it or think you've made a terrible terrible error um, so yeah have a have a look at that if you if you're ready for it um, it's as simple as straightforward as that that's how you get into IOC and I'll maybe do some more videos going into a bit more detail on GPS mode versus ATI and we might visit home lock and course lock if people want to. But I hope that was useful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon here back at the kitchen table. Cheers.